so many people don't understand how to communicate online. I'm going to help you out with that. Hey, I'm Lisa Marie. Welcome to my channel, Living My Best Life. I hope you're living your best life too. If you're new here, I invite you to subscribe. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about online etiquette. Now I'm sure I'm not going to cover everything, but I'm going to cover a few specific things that I think are important. The first area is social media. So like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I guess even YouTube would fall in that category, WhatsApp, there's so many out there, Snapchat. One of the things that a lot of people do is they put out posts or statuses that are kind of like bait. Somebody will say, life sucks, or I can't even, or why does this have to happen to me? And that's all they put. And immediately, anyone who cares about them is concerned and they go on and they say, oh my gosh, what's wrong? What happened? And a lot of times I see that as very attention seeking. If something is really wrong, instead of putting it on social media, why don't you call a friend? Ask somebody to talk to you, ask for help, whatever it is. But putting it out there on social media where half the people that are connected to you are just acquaintances is kind of silly. You're just putting it out there and it makes you look like you're trying to get attention. So there's something that I think people should not do. Another thing is don't use all capital letters. It's okay to use capital letters for emphasis, but if you use all capital letters, you're basically shouting. Online, that's what that means, shouting. So think about it, if you weren't shouting it, don't do it in capital letters. The other thing is profanity. Yeah, they won't stop you from doing it, but just think about all the people that see those posts. Not everybody wants to see that, and it doesn't necessarily reflect well upon you. So don't use profanity. It's not necessary. It's just really not. There are many ways to express yourself without using profanity on social media where others can see it. It's one thing on a text message with someone else who's okay with that. But when you put it out there for all of your friends and acquaintances to see, eh, I don't know why people would do that. Some people love to bait arguments. Like they go out there and they make a kind of a passive aggressive statement and it triggers people to respond that weren't even part of the conversation. But one, you don't necessarily need to respond if you see something like that. Now, if it's a positive thing and you wanna be encouraging, yeah, definitely respond. But if someone's just baiting an argument, don't take the bait, it's not worth it. They're just doing it for attention too, and why help them with that? That's not a good kind of attention. I know I don't wanna be part of that myself. Another thing that happens out there is trolling. There are people that just go looking for things so they can say something nasty or rude. Ignore them, block them, delete them. Don't give them the time of day. It's not worth it. That's their hobby. It doesn't need to be something that affects you. We don't need to talk about it. We don't need to deal with it. Just get rid of them, block them, and move on. They're going to go find someone else anyway until eventually they get kicked off whatever platform. It's amazing how people get so bold behind a keyboard when they would not say something to your face. To me, if you wouldn't say something to someone's face, don't write it on social media. That does not make any sense at all to me. If I wouldn't say it to you, I'm not going to say it on social media. That's a good rule of thumb. Think about that next time before you type something or you post. On YouTube, a good rule of thumb is if you watch a video and you liked it, hit the like. If you didn't like it, just don't do anything. Did you know that hitting the dislike button actually is considered engagement? And you're still helping them, especially if they have more likes than dislikes. So you're not hurting anybody and it doesn't make them feel bad because you're still helping them. My thought is if I don't like something, don't go watch their videos again. If you like them and you watched it, go ahead, hit the like button. Here's the other thing. If you're not gonna really watch the entire video, don't do it. Because what happens is if you go on and you turn on the video for a couple seconds and you hit the like button and then you leave or you leave a comment, that'll end up in spam. And then it doesn't help anyone. It just reduces somebody's watch time. It doesn't benefit them. What are some of the things that you consider disrespectful online? I'd love to know. I didn't cover all of them. I'm sure there's so many more, but I just wanted to cover the ones that came to mind for me right away. I try to be respectful online and I hope the same from others towards me. But let me know for sure if you have any other thoughts on this topic. Thanks so much. SNS, that stands for sorry, not sorry. 
when you say you're sorry, but you're really not. So now you know what it means and you can be part of the conversation. Thanks so much. Bye. Mm -hmm.